All right, the next question. He says, what do you think about young kids practicing combat sports? Should it be allowed? Um, definitely not. Um, I believe that, in my eyes, nobody should be practicing combat sport unless they're at least 18. It shouldn't be allowed. It should be banned. Um, just like, I don't know of any high school that allows, like, boxing within the high school. And that's good. Um, and also with this discovery of the you know CTE and the damaging effects of concussions um, I also see that football should not be practiced in high schools either so there should not be football and there shouldn't even be wrestling because wrestling is very damaging as well um, it, it will cause CTE it will cause many concussions so there shouldn't be wrestling there shouldn't be football there shouldn't be boxing, certainly there shouldn't be cage fighting, um, or any other sort of combat sport. Um, these are just not healthy forms of expression. Um, people's minds need to develop naturally, and with, you know, um, people need to be healthy, and, and these kids need to, you know, these kids are not capable of making their own decisions. Even the law will not consider anyone an adult until they turn 18. So even if a person is 17, he's not even allowed to consent to have sex. Because his consent doesn't count according to the law. Like the parents have to consent. The parents have to speak for the child. So anybody under 18 is considered a child. And... Um, they should not be allowed to engage in these dangerous activities. Once the people turn 18, then they pretty much are free to do what they want to do. To me, combat sport is similar to pornography, engaging in the, in the pornography business. And in America, nobody's allowed to engage in the pornography business until they're at least 18. So the law protects the children from engaging in these, um, these types of activities that could lead towards damage towards the health of the human being um, and they have to wait until they're 18 before they decide to engage in these sorts of activities no matter it be pornography no matter it be uh, cigarettes no matter it be alcohol no matter it be um, joining the military no matter it be engaging in combat sport um, certain things people have to wait until they're mature enough to make the responsible decision for themselves whether or not they want to put their 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 health and bodies at risk in order to um, engage in these activities. You know, a lot of people do a lot of dangerous things. You know, people, you know, can, you know, ride motorcycles. Um, people can mountain climb. People can skydive. And the law is not going to be there to protect everybody from making, you know, decisions that are not too intelligent. But the problem with combat sport is that when it gets so um, heavily marketed and masses of people want to get involved and, and pretty much practice something that is not heading towards the way of health, then that becomes an issue. Because it's not like mountain climbing is really heavily marketed out there to the public. Not that many people mountain climb. So a few people that decide to do something, something dangerous, it's up to them. But when you got something so heavily marketed like combat sport, and you got thousands of little children that want to get involved, it's just not promoting a healthy culture. And that essentially is where the problem rests. And it's the same thing that happened with like cigarettes. They used to market it like crazy, you know, all over TV. But then the government kind of stepped in and said, you know, you you know, they put a lot of restrictions and regulations on where these tobacco companies can market their product because they don't want it to be in the hand, you know, they don't want it to influence children too much. But when you got people that are very famous and they're appealing to the children. You know, um, the little things that they do 
can influence an, an immense amount of children to head towards the wrong path. So if you got some somebody like you know seen as a childhood figure, like say the Power Ranger for example, and all these little kids are watching Power Rangers, and then all the Power Rangers start smoking cigarettes all day, drinking alcohol, and smoking weed all the time, you know, on screen within their episodes. And then the children would be like, wow, you know, I want to smoke weed, I want to drink alcohol, I want to smoke cigarettes, just like the Power Rangers. That's not good, you know, when it's so heavily marketed towards, you know, a certain segment of the population that really doesn't know how to process this information. You know, when you have like somebody like Bruce Lee, he is, you know, pretty much inspiring children to, and young adults to try to get into the film industry and a lot of people have been inspired to, by Bruce Lee to try to get into the film industry as a martial artist but the difference with a fighter a combat sport fighter is they're pretty much or like a boxer like Mayweather whoever they're pretty much influencing people to engage into boxing and that's just not a healthy sport it's, it's um, very dangerous so you got someone like Bruce Lee, or not Bruce Lee, uh, Michael Jordan that's promoting people to play basketball. Um, but in his personal life, you know, he, he gambles a lot, but it's not like they heavily market that trait of his. But if they did, then that could be a problem because it can make all the people that love Michael Jordan want to gamble just like Michael Jordan. But Michael Jordan, you know, is pretty much promoting people to play basketball, which is not nearly as dangerous as combat sport. Tiger Woods isn't promoting people to play golf, which is not near, you know, nothing nearly as dangerous as combat sport. Um, so the problem is not necessarily that combat sport exists. The problem is the marketing that's targeted towards the worldwide population to pretty much get them addicted to this sort of violent entertainment and then also get a lot of people um, addicted to heading towards engaging in this type of violent activities. That's where the problem rests. Um, before there was cage fighting, you know, there's always been Muay Thai boxing, there's always been karate point sparring, there's always been um, taekwondo point sparring, there's always been wrestling, but it hasn't really been heavily marketed to Americans as much as cage fighting has been marketed to Americans and cage fighting is pretty much the, the most dangerous combat sport in existence that has been legalized and um, heavily promoting to the public to practice the most dangerous combat you know to, to practice the most dangerous sport that has been legalized is just not an intelligent thing to do you know it's like pretty much having all the markets out there all the media channels promoting little children to join gangs. That's pretty much like what um, combat sport is doing to this culture. It's promoting a violent culture. You know, um, so I don't believe that any children should practice. And basically if children were not allowed to practice and they had to wait until they eight, they're 18, then their drive to become the best in the world would not really be as intense because by the time they turn 18 they've already, they're already like pretty well into their life they just don't really have that much time to progress to become you know one of the best in the world because they didn't practice since the age of five like the way um, you know Tiger Woods would practice golf but you got like parents that are breeding little, little, their little children to practice combat sport like the age of five and then they're fighting their entire lives until the, the age of 40. Um, they're just not too different than just a wild animal, like a pit bull that's being trained to fight. And that's just something that's not humane. You know, that's not something that we should be promoting. That's not something that we should be doing as, a, as human beings. Um, even animals don't do stuff like that. Animals will fight when necessary for survival and for um, for food. You know, um, 
but human beings are not just regular animals. We could find other unique ways to generate profit, make money, and to survive. You know, you got a lot of people that make a lot of money from singing, dancing, rapping, acting. Um, there's very much more intelligent ways for us to make money. Look at how Bill Gates has become the most the richest person in the world. Look at Warren Buffett. Look at Donald Trump. Look at um, Steve Jobs with the Apple. Look at all these people that are considered like the wealthiest in the world. Look at how that they look at how they make money. And we should follow in the footsteps of people that are intelligent, not follow in the footsteps of people that have CTE, people that have memory loss, people where their brains are just so deteriorated that their brains are at the age of 65 when they're only 25, where, you know, when they speak, they, their, 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 their language is all slurred and they just can't even, they don't even, they can't even read. You put a book book in front of them, they can't read the book. You know, like they just, their brains are just so fried, they're, they're just so destroyed. These are not people that we should be inspired by. These are not people that we should follow. You know, um, So I think that the culture needs to value intelligence and education more opposed to just physical um, ability. You know. So that's that's what I that's what I say. You know, for for clearly, you know, I cannot I cannot control what the people do out there. But I can't, you know, lead by example, and I will say that, at least for my own children, they will never engage in combat sport, never. And hopefully through my influence, when they turn 18, they'll make the right decision for themselves. And as parents, you know, we need to lead by example. We need to make good decisions. And by doing so, um, hopefully our children will make good decisions as well.